Hi friends, welcome to channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement auto translation feature in Brave Browser. Let's do it. Brave seems really brave in terms of speed and secure. Though there is one downside, that is it doesn't have built-in auto translation feature. You can see the data. Till now it doesn't have auto translation feature. Hope Brave will add it in near future. After watching this video, I am sure you gonna subscribe my channel since I won't let you feel regret by watching this video. Just watch my activity and follow the steps. Now let's come to the point. To add auto translate, we have to use third party plugins and for that, we have to go for a GitHub and download it. And truly, here's up to plugin developer. You can grab it from link in the description. For Brave Browser, we have to download Chromium zip file. After download, open the Brave Browser and go for a hamburger menu. And click on extension and now go to developer mode and slide right side to make it on. I mean make developer mode on. Now drag the downloaded file here and boom. Now you can disable the developer mode. Now you can go to extension tab and pin it so that extension can be visible at this bar. Okay, now you can see and manage it easily from here. Let's check it. Hope it will work perfectly. Now let's open Langalia site. And you can see it. It is currently in Spanish language. Now go to translate extension and single click here. Again click here at always translate checkbox. Or you can right click here and click translate to English. You see whole page translated perfectly. Now we don't have to go here and click repeatedly. Wait, I have extra things to show you. You can switch the translator engine between Index and Google Translator. The Yandex translator are good for some language and Google translator is good for some languages. For this video, I go for a Google translate, so leave it as it is. Hope dopamine has been released in your brain. Then please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this video.